guys welcome back to my channel my name is Karen and I am here today to do something a little different other than showing you what I'm eating I was contacted again by the lovely company Madame Glam who do gel nail varnishes and if you watch me regularly you'll know that I do like to paint my nails last few days I haven't had any paint on them because I had to cut them down quite short because some of them broke so I'm now ready to get them painted. So Madame Glam have brought out a new mini range. So this is the size of their standard bottle that you get. And these are the mini ones. So as you can see, they are very mini. If you like any of the colors that you see or you want to see what other colors they've got, because they do lots and lots of different colors you can choose from. If you use the code CASA30 underscore one, you'll get 30% off of your order. Also, make sure you use the pay as you go at the checkout um, if you do not want to become a VIP member. You might want to be, so, you know, but just to let you know to choose that option if you don't want to be. So I have been sent five minis. Now, this one is called Bubbles Troubles, and it is a pinky colour. It tells you on the lids what the colours are. And this one is a really nice pink, like a soft pink. Oh, but it reminds me a bit like Candy Floss, that one. I have also got um, Flat dead which is a brownie one i do tend to like dark colors on my nails although i do wear light and dark and that is like a brown sort of plummy color i have also got true fire brick red this is a rather like the sexy red color you know a real nice bright red and then we have also got witch's night which is a really nice dark purple i was really drawn to this color and this one it would be great for halloween that's coming up you know if you want to dress up like a nice witch or that nice purple nails same goes for this one green this one is called A Foggy Night and it's a really nice green. Like, um, like a racing green, bottle green, I would call that. So those are the five colors that I have got, but it's which one do I choose to paint my nails now? I think I'm going to do, I think I'm gonna paint them green and then I'll do one nail in the purple so you can just see the two colours. Obviously, I showed you the colours in there. I don't really want to have colours, every fingernail a different colour at the moment. Otherwise, I would have done them all. So, yeah, I'm going to paint them Foggy Night and Witches Night. So, the green and the purple. So these are obviously gel nails, so you do need the lamp. You can't just paint these on and expect them to dry. So I have got a lamp. You can also get this lamp from Madame Glam if you don't have a lamp. So yeah, let's get painting. So to start with, you do need a base coat and then obviously you need to finish off with a top coat. And you also need a lint-free cloth just to wipe them at the end to get the stickiness off. So let's get painting some nails and transforming these into something a bit more glamorous. <music>
see I have now put the base coat onto one hand. The light on here, it's just a simple click on light. You've got the six LED lights under there and it's on an automatic timer. So when it clicks off, you know that it's cooked your nails enough. So I'm going to do the next hand and I will be back with you to show you the color going on. coats on of this nail varnish so I've got the one purpley and then green I think it's really nice and I do like a polished nail now you can't just go and do your business and get on with it with your nails like this they're wet and I need to have a top coat to finish them off and then be cured one more time so each time you paint 
the varnish on, you have to cure them with the lamp. So I am now going to finish off with some top coat, cure them one last time and then wipe them and I will be ready to rock and roll. <laughs> is my nails cured two coats base and a top coat so we have got the lovely green and then that one purple nail you can see so the last bit you need to do is you need a lint free cloth now when i first started doing gel nails which wasn't long ago i thought Oh, wiping them with a cloth when you've just done them. But they are sticky to touch now. So if you were just painting your nails, you would think, oh, they're not ready. But they are sticky. I do believe you can get gel nail varnishes, or so I've been told, that don't leave the stickiness. But it's not a problem just to wipe them with a cloth and you're done. So there are the nails and you just get your cloth and you wipe over. When I first wiped them, I thought, oh, going to wipe the nail varnish off but as you can see nothing is coming off other than the little sticky residue it's not a massive residue it's just a little tacky to touch that's all so you wipe them off that's one hand done and then just do the other one I never used to do gel nails and now I've discovered them thanks to Madam Glan contacting me. Otherwise, I would never have used them, I don't think. Um, I love them. I don't use normal nail varnishes or very rarely. Ta -da! And that's it. And they don't smudge. They're totally dry. They're ready to, as I say, rock and roll. You can get on with your day. You haven't got to think, oh, they're, they're going to smudge. They're wet. They don't smudge. And these gel nails by Madam Glam that I used before, from experience, they take ages to chip. They don't chip where a normal nail varnish, I would paint my nails. The next day, I would have at least one chip on them. Now, Madam Glam um, are cruelty-free. They don't test on animals and they never will. They're also vegan vegan friendly and they use 21 free formula so they're free from 21 most toxic chemicals found in nail varnishes and me being ignorant to nail varnish i didn't know really that nail varnishes were that bad but obviously they are so these are kind to the planet and kind to our animals and i've recently got a little bunny rabbit and i know that bunnies are one of the little creatures they use for testing on and to think that they do that is terrible so to know that i'm using a nail varnish that is cruelty free is even better 
so yeah so if you have enjoyed watching this video i would love you to come back for more if you could give me a like i would also appreciate that and if you subscribe and turn the bell on you'll be notified when i next upload which is usually daily so i hope you've enjoyed the video and again if you do um well if you do want to purchase some of these nail varnishes don't forget casa 30 underscore one i will put everything down in the description box and you can get some Madam Glam nails because I'm sure you agree. They do look glam and they look much better than at the start of the video when they were just boring nails. And then you could also finish them off if you've got some cuticle oil, which I don't have, which I'm going to purchase. And then just put some nice cuticle oil around and they will be a super duper. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.